Hey guys, Katsuma Gaming here. We are only a few hours left until part 2 banner of the 2.5 uh, anniversary or the 800 day celebration, whatever you want to call it, happens. And I am here to give you a quick rundown about the banners and just some general information for the upcoming patch and all the cool stuff that will drop with it. So first up, let's jump into Discord. One info that I want to share here is that currently Arena is broken. Nexon made, um, not Nexon, sorry, Sadisoft made an official post where they said that the current damage in Arena is lower than it's planned. To be honest, I think this existed for a while now, so it's kind of weird that they only realize it now because I know for a fact that in past arenas we did way less damage to, for example, wave enemies than we were supposed. So I'm not sure if this is like a <clears throat> an older bug that it just now realized and they're trying to fix so that we are more in line with how JP was or if it's like it's completely different just for this arena i'm not sure but don't take today's score too seriously first up we will get of course a new bundle tomorrow with a potential new unit that you can potentially use and snack you know uh -huh. and second of all if they actually fix this tomorrow or next few days scores might just change again so just your Leo runs, there's nothing to lose. Then another big info that I want to share with you guys is that you should remember that starting tomorrow we will get Fane Quest Half Stamina campaign. What that means is pretty basic. You only need half the amount of stamina normally for Fane Quest. So instead of using 120 stamina for six attempts, you just need 60 stamina for six attempts. This is great for Two things. First up, if you haven't grinded your subs yet, and yes, you need to grind your subs for a quest, that's a great way to farm them now. I will actually talk about that in a second when we open the encyclopedia, so keep that in mind. Second of all, the new units come out and you can just grind them more easily. Heck, even if you haven't grinded the new units from this banner, there's another great thing that you can grind. And even if you say, okay, most of my stuff is already grinded, this is still a great way to use your stamina to get gold turns for units that's still missing them. You know, there's this. These are the best campaigns that you can ever get in the future. Trust me. This is like a god bless half stamina is the best thing you can happen. So use it as much as you can. Trust me, it's worth it. Enough of that. Before we actually go to the banner guide, I want to talk about Fane Quest one more thing. And that is. I have a whole guide about Fane Quest in my encyclopedia and I know there's a lot of text in there and this might scare some of you off but trust me it's really worth to go through this. So for example down there this I recommend also grinding your gauge up, 3 star subs and also your OG units on element that have good passive traits. So for example OG Union has a 7% light damage bonus, which is better than a 6% magical attack bonus if your unit, unit only does light damage. In that case, Fast Union only does light damage, so she's the best sub for light union. The same works with, for example, Aure, with Valentine Cecily, with OG Erika, with OG Leah, and there are a lot of units like that where it's really really recommended to grind these OG units just for the huge damage boost that you can get. So if you haven't grinded any subs yet, focus probably on these first, otherwise just grind at least like two subs per unit. You don't need to have every aqua grinded, you don't need to have every four star unit and every three star unit grinded. If you want to, like some other person said it now, <coughs> I'm toxic <blank. coughs> Feel free to do so, but generally speaking, if we have like two physical or magical attack subs grinded per character, plus potential other subs that you need, as I said, for example, here, OG Union for Union, or for example, water damage boost subs for Aqua, or light damage boost subs on Aqua side for when Forbidden Aqua comes. But like the moment you have two grinded you're good to go because eventually over time new units will come out they probably also have physical or magical attack buff you will grind them as well and then you can also use them as subs and everything like that and yeah it's highly recommended to do that 
Okay, with that out of the way, finally, really, really time for the banner guide. For that, we jump in over here. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the call out, Toxic. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, I needed to mention it. <clears throat> we have the 800 day celebration legendary adventure festival Erika and Cielo banner. So, this is the normal banner. Nothing too crazy here, but yes, two new units are, of course, Fess or legendary adventurer, Erika and Cielo. Let's take a quick look at the dock, what they actually can do. We start off here with Erika, the probably more important unit on this banner, I'm not gonna lie. Why? Let's just take a quick look at her kit and what it actually means for team building. First up, higher physical attack passive trait, normal with fast units, they're just a little bit better there. Normal fire basic, which is great for physical units, this is amazing. Also HP condition, so, you know, probably the best you can have for a DPS. Then she has a random hit with 165% damage two times and gives her a self tier 2 agility boost for 12 seconds with a cooldown of 17 seconds. So with 4 seconds of CDR, you have only 1 second downtime. Second skill, HP condition, single target physical attack up to 184% damage that gives a self tier 2 fire elemental buff. And that's it. So why is this so great? First up, keep in mind, with a tier 2 fire damage boost and a tier 2 ability boost for herself, she's pretty much independent. She can self-speed, she can kind of self-buff, and of course, as a fire unit, she loves to run her ulti 2, which gives more gauge up to your whole team, which makes fun strats with ult spam and everything like that possible. She works great in that thing. Like, the only thing that she's pretty much missing is CDR and gauge up, Rash Red and Physical Attack Buff. So the other two units need to do that. And there we run into some problems because for example, you can say, okay, Maid Leah is Rash Red unit. She even has CDR with her ulti 2. Now you pretty much only need a buffer. And for a buffer, let's say we bring in Mitsurugi. Now you don't have speed boost for Mitsurugi and for Leah. So, the best case you can kind of do there is, I think, Mia? Like, Lia, Mia, so I know Mia, and Erika makes a somewhat decent team. Lalisa can also kind of work, she's also a great fire unit. Like, the fact that she's so selfish makes it hard to build a proper team around her, because we don't have, like, these two subs that are just the best slot in for her. And, yeah, that's something you need to keep in mind. Also, since she already has a self tier 2 fire elemental damage buff, Rapper Aqua's value went downhill because now, long, now she can no longer even buff the most DPS unit in your team with that. She can still be used as a level 1 unit to, you know, just bring Gage up, maybe get the heal off with the tier 2 fire damage bonus before she faints. That's a potentially strat you can still run. But yeah, generally speaking, she is the strongest fire unit that we have in the game. And she's still really, really strong in JP, so you will have a long time usage of her. Um, again, the biggest problem about her is that she's selfish and that it makes it really hard to build a proper team around her. Second unit is, of course, Cielo. And she has a different problem. First, let's go through the kit. 7% wind damage bonus and 40% if you're above 70% HP which on a healer is more doable than you probably think. Normal basic that also heals, that's great. Again, together with a passive trait that works wonders. Um, you also have two skills, as, as usual, sorry. First skill is single target magic attack with HP condition to up to 228% damage. That gives her a self tier 2 wind damage buff. Again, a self buff. Duration is 16 seconds with a cooldown of 19 seconds, so a 3 second downtime, which means the moment you have 4 seconds of CDR, like, you know, fast crash, uh -huh, she can pretty much keep the buff up the whole time. Second skill, also HP condition, also single target, that gives 20% gauge up to your whole team, and has a cooldown of 18 seconds. What does this mean? She has 
pretty decent offensive 2 HP condition single target skills works right now especially with single target arenas really really great because high damage wind damage boost just boosts her basic her ulti stuff like that even more keep in mind she has a really strong ulti 2 version 1 that heals you deals pretty de pretty decent damage and also gives you all a damage cut so even more survivability for your team to keep the passive trade up and just allow her to do a lot of damage the gauge up also helps for example fast chris to spam her ulti the whole time and don't need to worry about doubt times and yeah she's a great unit the two big things that are kind of negative about her are first up wind is stacked and will just get more and more stacked in the future for example, in probably not even three months, maybe in three months, we will get Fast Rin, which will be another wind unit that is great. We will get Fast Dust, which is another wind unit. Um, in the future, we, if we get collapse in the future, hopefully, there will also be Ram as a really strong wind unit. Uh, we have Wiz, we have Kazuma, we have Leah, we have Chris. There are so many good wind units out there that it's just hard for her to compete again. She can do great damage, she can provide a lot of utility, but to be honest, Arabian Union under the right circumstances, aka the moment we get Megumin's ulti 2 version 2, can outperform Cielo. You need a lot of crits, you need a lot of luck there. Cielo is probably still easier to use, but you can survive without Cielo. She's a great unit, she's Probably meta for wind, but it's not like she's a must-have unit. For example, if we go to my normal page and go to the that's the right tab. Sorry, um, global rank overview. You can see right now both of these new units are ranked into on uh, meta units on element. They are both here. They are both great units. I highly recommend summoning for them especially erika i think erika is like a must grab though keep in mind if you are low on quartz because you potentially lost everything on part one you might can consider saving for december because in december we will be getting forbidden dark uh, forbidden aqua and halloween aria which are two great and really strong units for light so if you already have fast union and you want to compete in light and you don't care about wind and fire that's potentially like the one case where i'm like sure skip save for that or of course if you're just going for a waifu and stuff like that yeah that's pretty much everything about these units let's go back and check out the other banners that are coming up besides the normal banner we will also get the 2k banner so 2k pay quarts for a multi with a skill potion rate up we will also get another special character guaranteed recruit ticket and this is also a pool with all the fast units or like not all but some fast units in there the cool thing here is of course both erika and cielo are in here so now you have a two in seven chance to get a new unit it's not guaranteed that you get a new unit but math mathematically speaking it's a little bit less than a 1 in 4 chance to grab a new unit, but it's still, to be honest, great odds compared to normal. So if you are a whale, I think potentially start with that to get a good start. And last but not least, we also get a new Encore recruit part 2. So these are, again, free multis, probably also like free, I would assume. It has a special animation, a different than the current one. And it... It's great because free pulls, even if you don't get any cool new unit out of there, just shards, especially for free to play players, are amazing. It's a great pickup, should help you make your team even stronger. So, I highly recommend doing them and enjoying the video. I won't show the video this time because, you know, copyright strike, like what happened last time. But you should find a link down in the video description about where you can find the video. Um, if you want to spoil yourself, otherwise, of course, you can just wait for the banner to drop and just do your pulls there. There should also be an upcoming um, part 2 rerun banner for fast units and potentially some other paid banners. I already talked about them in the update video, 
so check that out if you're curious about that but that should be everything for this guy right now if you have any questions to twitch youtube chat you can ask them right now otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and see you all in the next one bye bye